Welcome to day 15. Hopefully you're still engaged and I'm not boring you, but we are on a journey to transform. We've got the hashtag lockdown and transform. So day 15, we've passed two weeks. We're now going to align. What does the word align mean for you? If you think of a car, if the wheels are not aligned, the car is going to be pulling to one side. And not only that, the tires are going to run down unevenly. What does your alignment look like? Have you aligned your values to your purpose? Have you aligned what you love to what you're doing? And if you're not doing what you should be doing and what you have discovered over the last two weeks, that, that you see a, a bigger picture and you see, wow, I'd rather be involved with that, then your alignment's out. You've got to look at your alignment and say, how can I do that? Because if you can get your alignment lined up, your car is going to be pulling straight and it's not going to be going to the, the left or to the right. And when that happens, you're getting the best value out of the tires, the best value out of the car because it's not vibrating. And I want you to do that as well. If there's alignment in your life, alignment to your purpose, alignment to how you can add value to the world, then you're going to be happy. And if you're happy, the people you work with are going to be happy. I can't create your happiness. Your employer can't create that happiness. Money cannot create that happiness. The alignment with the purpose that you were born for will create that alignment. So in the next seven days, we're going to wrap this up and make sure that we understand the alignment. But I want you to at least spend some time in discovering what that alignment is. Because if you know where you're going and you get your alignment right, we can pull in the same direction. So that is our 15th letter, A for align. See you again tomorrow.